So I recently made a video saying that I was going to move all of my ICES over to trading 212. And last time in that video, I tried to do it. However, there were a few obstacles. So in this video, I'm going to try again to move all of my ICES to trading 212. And this will act as a guide if you want to do that process yourself too. So as you can see, currently I already do have an ISA with Trading212. You can see I've already used up my current tax year's ISA allowance. And for those mathematicians out there, you will also notice that this is two years worth of deposits at least because my current portfolio value is £44,920. Of course, if you wanted to sign up to Trading212 and receive a free fractional share worth up to £100, then all you have to do is to sign up using the link in the description box down below. Alternative Alternatively, if you've signed up to Trading212 recently in the past 10 days and haven't received a free share, all you have to do is to click the three horizontal line menu over here, scroll all the way down until you see the use promo code section over here. And in this menu, you can use my code J-U-B-A-I-R and you should receive a free share after signing up. So here is the ISA that I want to transfer over. As you can see, the current ISA portfolio balance is £59,420. This is actually just two years worth of deposit the rest is actually just capital gains, which is really good for me. But anyway, I want to transfer this ISA over to my Trading212 ISA so I can consolidate everything. So in my previous video, I've realized that you can't actually do in-specie transfers out from Invest Engine, unfortunately. So what I had to do since then was to actually liquidate all my holdings. As you can see, all the money was in the Vanguard FTSE All World. But now you can see from here, I have £59,420 in cash. If I go over here, you can can see that I sold out completely 573.83 shares in the FTSE All World and that was at a price of £103.55 which I was really happy about so I'm not too upset about that. Once the money does get transferred over I'm going to try to buy back the FTSE All World or maybe I'll go with the S&P 500. Stay tuned to see what decision I make if you're interested in that but I'm pretty happy with what I sold out as cash. The dangers with actually transferring over in cash is that you can be out of the market for really important days. For example what if I was out on the market and the price shot up to £110. I might not ever get the time in the market to actually get back at that price and I'll be losing out tens of thousands of pounds potentially. But anyway, you can see available for withdrawal is £59,420. The other thing that I do have to mention is that I am actually waiting for a dividend to be paid because of course I held the VWRL before the ex-dividend date, even during the ex-dividend date. So I am entitled to dividends of around £200. This should be paid out in two days. However, I'm going to start the ISA, you know, transferral process because I think it could take longer than two days and hopefully they will transfer all my money from my Invest Engine account over to Trading212. Now, even if the dividends get paid into this account afterwards, I'm actually going to do a whole other form and I'll keep you updated if you actually want to find out how the dividends work after transferring an ISA. But anyway, I'm back to my Trading212 ISA and all you have to do is to again, click the three horizontal line menu over here and then go over to where it says portfolio transfers. Now there are two types of transfers. One is incoming, so it's coming in to your Trading212 ISA and the other one is outgoing. So currently I'm not doing an outgoing transfer, but if you wanted to do an outgoing transfer, the process is pretty simple. For example, if I wanted to transfer to my Invest Engine ISA, then I have to contact them. They will request the transfer from Trading212 and then Trading212 and Invest Engine will sort it out. And of course, this portfolio transfer from Trading212 is free, which is great to hear. But anyway, I want an incoming portfolio from Invest Engine to Trading212. But if you're with someone like Hargreaves Lansdowne or whatever free trade, this is going to be a very similar ordeal. Anyway, with portfolio transfer, you can see that you can transfer a portfolio from another provider. This is automatic and paperless, which Trading212 makes it very easy for these transfers to occur. And best of all, it is free. However, your investment broker that you're transferring from could charge an exit fee. So it's very important that you find out for yourself. I don't believe Invest Engine luckily charges an outgoing fee. But anyway, I'm going to press get started here. So the next part is to find your investment provider from here. Trading212 makes it very easy because the most popular ones are here. You can see AJ Bell, Barclays, Best Invest, Chip, 
so many different companies. The most popular are here. You can scroll down and find Invest Engine if you want, or you can search it. One thing that I did notice is that they spell Invest Engine with two words. So if you want to search for it, just type in Invest and then Space Engine, and you should find it. So I'm going to press Invest Engine here. So next, all you have to do is to put your account info, and all they really need to know is your account number. Now, if you aren't sure how to get your account number from Invest Engine, all you have to do is to click the four square button or the Windows looking button here, and then the first First one personal info so under where it says client reference that is your account number and you can press this button here and it will copy that number to a clipboard so then you can just go back to trading 212 and just paste it in now there are two types of ISA transfers one is of course stocks and shares ISAs which we're doing here if you have a cash ISA from someone let's say Halifax you should also be able to do this process although I have heard there is a huge backlog when it comes to cash ISA transfers so I'm not sure how long that will take but anyway I can click stocks and shares ISA here and press next. So unfortunately, Invest Engine does not currently support an in specie transfer out of Invest Engine. So what we're going to have to do is just a cash transfer, the only option we have here. And what I want is a full transfer of all the cash sitting in my Invest Engine account. So I'm going to do full transfer here. However, you can do a partial transfer if you want. And then you can select the current year tax amount you want to transfer. I'm going to go with full transfer. You can also do transfers of previous tax years and you can just put in what number you want there. So I'm just going to go with a full transfer to make everything simple. You can switch these on and off as you wish. So I'm just going to press next here. So we're almost ready to go here. And next, what you have to do is to review the documents, make sure all the personal details are correct. And then you can press review and sign form. So I've just checked that all of my personal details are correct, up to date and matching what I have for both of the platforms. So I've recently moved address and I need to make sure that it is the same address on both platforms. And then you can confirm the transfer details. You can see the current tax year subscription is full. Although my Invest Engine account isn't my current tax year, I'm still going to do a full transfer everywhere. Previous tax year subscriptions full. So all the cash sitting in my Invest Engine account should be moved over. And then when I confirm all the details, read through the whole document, I can press sign document here. And then you can use your finger to sign the document. As you can see, that is a fake signature. So I'm going to do that again. And then it is as simple as that. The transfer request has been submitted and then you're done. When you go back to this menu, you can see portfolio transfers incoming. It says portfolio transfer. There's a little waiting icon here and its current status is contacting provider. So Trading212 will contact Invest Engine and make sure all the cash that I have in my Invest Engine account is going to be switched over to my Trading212 ISA. Now if I go into it, you can see what's next. So transfer request review. You can see that the transfer arrangements with my old provider are currently underway. It can take up to two weeks depending on the responsiveness of the other provider you may be contacted by them for further confirmations and you can see incoming asset allocations. And I guess this menu here will tell me when my assets are coming in and you can download the transfer request form if you want at any point. Now, when I go back to my ISA, you can see under my graph, there is a new menu here that says portfolio transfer incoming and I can click there to find out the progress at any given time. So make sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next video.